my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 90 in this lecture we will try to understand properties of recursive and recursively enumerable languages i request you to go through lecture number 89 that is my previous lecture before understanding this lecture i already defined what is recursive language what is recursively enumerable language in my previous lecture a language l is decidable if there exists a turing machine capital m that holds on every input string what does it mean it is related to which language is it recursive language or recursively enumerable language this is recursive language by this definition i can say recursive language is decidable what is the reason in the case of recursive language there may be two possibilities uh, maybe your turing machine uh, uh, may reach final state and halts your turing machine may reach at non final state plus non this final state plus halt or there may be other case that may be that may reach non final state and halt means in the case of recursively enumerable language there is halt mechanism whether your turing machine accept input string or does not accept input string it always halts if it halts means i can say it is decidable that's what it says a language that is decidable if there exists turing machine capital m that halts it halts in the case of recursive language a language l is undecidable if there is no turing machine that halts on every input this 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 is the case with recursively enumerable language what is the reason in the case of in the case of in the case of recursively enumerable language there is a possibility of entering into infinite loop if it enters into infinite loop then i can say that is an undecidable problem some languages that is non recursively enumerable language are not turing recognizable why because in this case because of this infinite loop possibility that uh, that may be undecidable why because in the case of non recursively enumerable language your mission may be accepted plus halt your mission may not not accepted plus halt there may be infinite it may enter into infinite loop because of this infinite loop i can say your non recursively non recursively enumerable language is undecidable yes i i already discussed all these concepts in my previous lecture even i discussed about membership function also just again uh, i am requesting you to go through that lecture that is lecture number 89 now if i um, just this, this is a simple diagram through which you can understand decidability and undecidability it is a simple and straight forward diagram what it says till which languages till from regular language to recursive language all these languages comes under decidable they all these are this this is decidable this is decidable this is decidable this is decidable this is also decidable but uh, whereas where one can come across undecidability only in the case of recursively enumerable language because of that infinite loop i can say this recursively enumerable language comes under undecidable category yes yes the properties of recursive and recursive enumerable languages i can say these are closer properties even not only properties i can say closer properties isn't it recursive languages are closed under complementation what does it mean if l is recursive language then l complement is also recursive language La language means basically it is a set isn't it therefore for set you can always find complement is yes yes recursively enumerable languages are not closed under 
complementation. For example, L is recursively enumerable language. L complement may not may not be may not be uh, recursively enumerable language. Recursive language and recursively enumerable language are closed under union. What does it mean? If L1 is recursive language, L2 is recursive language, then L1 union L2 is also recursive language. If L1 is recursively enumerable language, L2 is recursively enumerable language, L1 union L2 is also recursively enumerable language. Yes, yes. Recursive language and recursively enumerable language are closed under intersection. Not only under union, they are also closed under intersection. Recursive language and recursively enumerable language are closed under concatenation. Concatenation means if L1 is recursive language, L2 is recursive language, then L1, L2 is also recursively enumerable language. It is true for uh, concatenation, they are closed. It is true not only for recursive language, it also holds good for recursively enumerable language. Recursive language uh, and recursively enumerable language are closed under clean closure and, and positive closure. I already discussed what is clean closure, what is positive closure in my uh, initial lectures. If L, uh, L is recursive language, then L plus positive closure and L star are also uh, recursive language. If L is recursively enumerable language, then L plus L star is, is also recursively, enum recursively enumerable language. Recursive language are uh, and the recursively enumerable language are closed under reversal. What does it mean? If L is recursive language, then L power R is also recursive language. If L is recursive enumerable language, then L power R, reversal of that language, is also uh, recursively enumerable languages. Recursive and recursively enumerable languages are not <coughs> sorry. Recursively enumerable languages are not closed under uh, difference. Uh, what does it mean? If L1 is uh, recursively enumerable language and L2 is recursively enumerable language, then L1 minus L2 is not recursively enumerable language, isn't it? Yes. Recursive languages are not closed under substitution. Yes, uh, that you can understand. These are the different uh, properties of uh, recursive languages as well as uh, recursively enumerable uh, languages. Uh, just uh, go through the uh, theory. Uh, you need not bother about uh, proofs of these properties. Just have an idea on these properties. The, uh, if you have an idea uh, how it works, it's, it's enough in this stage. Thank you very much.